Valve's base salt holdings has announced that 25 workers will be retrenched because some areas of the business are not profitable. The Mine Workers Union of Namibia mobilized workers to express their dismay and disappointment. Its regional secretary, Petrus Petrus, says permanent workers at the bagging and loading plants, as well as loader drivers, will lose their jobs, but they will be re-employed as casual workers. We do not want to work as contract laborers. We want to have our permanent employees. We want to have benefits like you have them, like you give them to your white management. After a good year of productivity and good return for the company, they want to reward employees by sending them into street and later turn them into scape labor. Petrus stressed that the company made a gross profit of $123 million and net profit of $84 million in 2020, representing a 40% increase. There is a clear indication that the company does not have any ground to retrain workers. Their drive for retrenchment is based on draconic, draconic behavior of capitalism to maximize profit at the expense of the workers. Valve is Basalt Holdings Managing Director says the company does not dispute the fact that it made millions of dollars, but there are specific departments that are not performing. Certain of our departments are not performing, and all we want to do, we want to do a restructuring to optimize performance. As an example, our loading plant is utilized four or five days a month, six days a month, but we, we employ uh, a whole bunch of people on a, on a permanent basis. So we want to do what is the right thing to do. Sneeman says the company plans to outsource workers for the loading plant because the lease with Namport will come to an end in a few years. There are close to 160 people employed at the company. Renate Rinkura, NBC News, Valfis Bay.